hello guys in this video i will tell you how to solve this question so a function is given with parameters m and n and ans is 1 count is 0 while ans less than equal to m count is getting incremented by 1 and answer is getting multiplied by n and at last we have to return count so in the question we are provided that we are given with f of 250 comma 2 so our m is 250 n is our 2 so what will happen initially answer is 1 so 1 is less than 250 so it will enter the while loop now what will happen I, I have drawn the diagram for for you to understand it easily so initially count is 1 and answer is 2 by 2 because count will get incremented by 1 count was initially 0 and answer was 1 and it is now multiplied by 2 because n is 2 so answer is 2 at next iteration of the while loop count will increment it by 1 so it will be 2 and answer was initially 2 in the previous stage and now it will again be multiplied by 2 so it, it is ba basically multiplying by 2 at every step ok so it will be 2 as soon as some time passes you will realize that basically a is 2 power n where n is the value of c because for c is equal to 2 you will get 2 square as a for c is equal to 3 you will get 2 cube as 8 so you can make a guess that a smart move will be the while loop will run when ans is less than 250 ok so what is the power of 2 which is equal to 2 uh, which is less than 250 it is 128 right so just skip the intermediate steps and directly reach to c is equal to 7 a is equal to 128 now when a is equal to 128 your c would be 7 now 128 you will again compare you will go in the while loop once more 128 is less than 250 correct increment the count count will be 8 and then answer will be 128 into 2 that is 256 so after this iteration 256 you will again get into the while loop uh, again check the while loop 256 is less than equal to 250 no wrong you will get out of the while loop and then you will return count so count value is 8 so 8 will be returned so this is a question of while loop thank you so much